guys! It's not so beautiful weather outside, so it's a good uh, day to tape a video inside. On this video, I want to give you tips uh, to help you think out what to bring on your holiday or long travel in medication. Uh, well, for everybody, they will be different because I am a lucky person that I don't need that much medication. So the only thing I bring is some kind of aspirin. So like the new usual stuff you use uh, at home if you have maybe uh, stomach pain or headache. Uh, so it's maybe good to take that along. And I have some bandages because you never know what happens. And you will always see that it happens somewhere in the night or somewhere in the weekend where all the shops are closed. Other things that you can think about of taking along, of course, is uh, I have uh, when I tried to uh, travel to Asia, I had uh, for uh, protection, I had malaria uh, tablets on me. So I didn't start using them in front because I didn't want to. You hear some weird stories that people uh, can respond, uh, react very differently on it. But I had it on me with a long uh, day before expiring, so it's still good to go. They say that if you uh, start having the symptoms of malaria and immediately start taking that medication, it's actually almost the same as if you uh, do it in advance. You can think about uh, taking a medicine uh, against fever. Maybe if you get car sick or seasick, you probably want to take those too. Uh, something to, uh, if you hit yourself and you want to clean a bed, so sort of alcohol to uh, clean out the wounds will be very good. Uh, another stuff is a lot of people have stomach problems, so you probably want to take something uh, against uh, diarrhea. Uh, well, that's, I think, a lot of times a little bit the uh, uh, general one. Uh, other things you can take is uh, uh, an anti-mosquito spray, but I prefer to buy it in the country itself. Most of the times it's cheaper there. It smells also very good, <laughs> uh, but it's cheaper and, and most of the times it works actually in the area where you are because it can be a little bit different. Uh, they used to advise me to bring DEET, but it's very bad for the environment and actually very bad for your own skin. So if you get somewhere, don't use DEET, it's very, very bad. So uh, the best spray are most of the times a sort of a citronella spray and it's actually very cheap and uh, most of the times even you can buy it in a supermarket or you go to a, a pharmacy. If you're now already taking medication, you should go to your pharmacy and ha ask for a printout so you can take the printout with you so you can show in that country in the official uh, language, uh, how you say, the general language in the medicine world, which medication you use so they don't mix up with that. So that's a very good one. You also have to look in if you have special uh, medication uh, like sleeping medication or if you are like a hyperactive person, it can be that those medication is uh, under restriction of an opium law and then you need to have a form that says that you really need to bring that along with you. So you have to prepare for that one. Sometimes you have to go to the embassy and get a special stamp for that. So that takes a little bit more work. Uh, the other thing is uh, you have to uh, look at the expiration date of your medicines you really need. Look at the expiration date or otherwise go to your pharmacy and ask for new supplies and ask for uh, somebody that lasts longer. Another thing is also if you're already using medication or special medication, look how you have to store them. Some medication do really bad in sunlight or in heat, they need to be in a fridge. You have to look into that one because otherwise it can be that your medication doesn't work anymore. I think if you uh, look at this one, this would probably be my top one. Uh, there's also online, you can buy a, a sort of a first aid kit. 
and the first aid kit probably has uh, the first few general ones I uh, mentioned. So you can also think about uh, buying that one. Uh, the, all the information I gave you now, I also put it in writing on my blog. So I have on my blog too, uh, travel tips, uh, very good travel tips for holidays, but especially also for long travel. So I will get back to you next time with more tips. See ya!